You know, Tara, I've said it once, but I'll say it again. Sequels have been the greatest thing in movie history. Jacob, at our time of working together, never have I heard you say something so stupid up until now. Dude, sequels are awesome. How about you two just stop this video right now? Like, I'm surprised both of you even managed to get this far into your production. We're like, what, 20 minutes in and we just got our equipment and we haven't even started recording? I'm just suggesting that Jacob over here actually helps us. I mean, this is literally the last project he's going to do in this class, and instead of helping the group, he's over here discussing sequels. But I mean, come on, man. Sequels are awesome. Just think, your favorite character's coming back in an action-packed adventure on the big screen one final time. But that almost never happens. Just take Die Hard 2, for example. I mean, both of you have a point. I feel like sequels can add more to an expanding series. Yet, one thing I'm always annoyed about is how they add in undeveloped characters for the sake of not boring the audience with the same two characters from the original. Oh, Tanner, just think, what if we got sequels? Okay, Jacob, now you must be really off your meds because who in their right mind would make a sequel out of us, let alone an original movie? The producer would. The who? Oh, Tanner, you bonehead! Producers are the highest form of energy production in our ecosystem! No, not those producers. I mean movie producers. Producers can make movies? Uh, just ignore me, Troy. What do you mean by a producer? Well, if you remember about a year or two ago, both of you had that silly little story about an editor. Yeah, the editor who had a script who could edit our reality. Yeah, well, word is that he's in production of another script. A second one. Far more powerful than the last. Kill one. Another takes his place. It's not a Hydra. Listen, Troy, is there any way that we can stop this producer? I mean, I just don't want a sequel made out of Jacob and I. I mean, we could just find the producer and stop him. Or we can have an awesome movie made out of us. Dude, the most exciting thing you did today was get out of bed. Do you think a sequel about us is really going to work? How about we do just stop this bickering right now and we go stop the producer? I like that line. There's only one way to take down the producer. Who's in nine millimeter? What? No! Okay, this scene doesn't even make any sense. Well, you want to step in? Yes, actually. First off, you two have already done the scene in the original with the same location and dialogue. So how about we move over there to make our Blake Cherry planning scene more interesting? So like, there. Secondly, Tanner, you didn't even have a clue about this producer originally. So how are you supposed to know how to take him down? So this time, I'll do the planning. Fine, you do the planning and we'll see how well it works. Okay, so here's what I know about the producer. He's sneaky, sly, a good man who's stealing the script from somebody else and... Jacob, are you being tricked right now? Well, I'm really welcome. Jacob, just because you moved the position of where the joke takes place doesn't make it any more original. Why don't you try to come up with something else that's funny and in character? Uh, it's really hard, you know. Shut up, both of you. No, I won't stop until Jacob over here learns how to make some better comedy. Better comedy? Yeah, coming from the guy that's hitting the stanky leg like an idiot. I'm not hitting the stanky leg like an idiot. Oh god, I'm hitting a stinky leg like an idiot. Where have I seen this one before? This must be work from the producer and their incompetent storytelling. Do something quick! Can you two stop acting so stupid? I want to move forward with the plot! Well, we just can't leave him like this. Oh, just ignore Troy Jacob. You see, she's just a little salty because she has to do all the work and make this better because she has to compete with the two original characters. <laughs> just shut up, Tanner. I'm gonna continue with my plan. From what I know about the producer, he's currently using the school's power hour time to write the new script. So this is the perfect time for us to catch him off guard and delete the entire script. This plan needs to be solid and followed through. It doesn't matter how we do it, but it has to be done. Any questions? I just realized something. What something is it? Something incredibly important. What is it? Tanner, your face has cleared up so much since last time. I can't believe you. Currently, I'm stuck doing this stupid dance because of a producer and their incompetent storytelling, stealing jokes from the same thing as last time. But you want to comment on how my face looks. I don't know, it just doesn't look like Annie's Mountain Range anymore. Yeah, and look at that beard. It looks like a Wolverine couldn't regenerate. I like the beard. Enough, you two. Can you quit arguing? I can't believe you guys are my friends. Remember, there's a producer out there who needs to stop. Yeah, Troy makes a point. But first, we gotta figure out how to get to this door. Well, uh, how do we get through this door? Just watch and learn. <laughs> nice job, Tanner. I learned to knock with my foot. But well, why don't you try? Uh, well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know, man. Use your head. <laughs> no, not literally, you idiot. Oh, my head. Um, have you two tried opening the door? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Now that's how you make an entrance. Hey, Jacob, 
Where'd you get that ice pack from? Oh, the producer wrote it. What? No, we're supposed to be going against the producer. You're not supposed to be accepting his gifts. Greetings, my cast members. Let me guess, you're the producer. Why, yes, I am the producer, and I'm writing a new script. Do you really have to scream, man? You're hurting Jacob's ears. Yeah, they're sensitive. Well, anyways, I'm writing a new script full of wacky, thing, amazing scenarios for you to type part in. Actually, we came here to stop you from doing that. To stop me? Oh, you can never get rid of my creative flow. My ideas are limitless. Dude, you really don't want to write a script about us. We're really boring and we just want to go back to our normal lives. Yeah, and I'd like for these two to stop caring so much so that I can get back to my TV project. Man, I just want some candy. Well, I'll just write that in for you, my friend, and done. Whoa! You can't just do that. We're here to stop you. We're here to stop your stupid script so we can go back to our normal lives. Do you understand? But why would you want to do that? I can write in anything you want, my friend. I have the power to change the scenery, the characters, your very interaction. You say anything? Why, yes, anything, my good friend. I can give you what you always wanted. You can now have a brain, a large, smart brain. Lord knows you need. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I just did the Pythagorean's theorem. And for you, Troy, you may finally be granted a heart. A big, caring heart with the capacity to care for your friends. Hey, I feel different. Listen, I'm sorry about everything rude I said about you, Jacob and Tanner. You guys are nice, and I'm glad to be able to call you guys my friends. Wow, how original. Where have I seen this one before? So, what do I get? Oh, let me guess. I get courage. No, Tanner, you need a soul. Hey, Tanner, take it easy on this guy. He's just trying to have fun writing his scripts. My acute observation of saying that we should let this script writing TV production student write his script because of the future indicates that in the future we will have a successful movie franchise based off of us. You two are so brainwashed right now. Besides, you can't even change the script or get rid of it. It's already in motion. Hey, uh, when was the last time you saved? Uh, I don't remember actually. Well, should have learned how to use Control S. Jacob, I want to hear. Wait, the recording still happened. Wouldn't closing out of the script, you know, end the production? Did you seriously not learn anything from last time? What do you mean, learn from last time? Don't you know I'm just an actor? Nope, that's it. We're not doing this again. I'm telling you right now, I quit. You know what? How would you come back to me when we have a better sequel that has actual good script writing and isn't just recycled content for the last? Cut, I guess.